Oh, okay, there we go. Hello! It's been a <clears throat> little bit since the last vlog I did. It was back in December of a Milo 1 on the Cup Cup Code. And yeah, no more Milo until, you know, April of the Cross will go. In the meantime, Pony, yeah, the good news is that you know, come back late, late March. But in the meantime, they had a Crunching Girl special, um, interestingly enough. Because, you know, I think like after Legend of Everfree, they kind of realized that trying to keep the movie every single time with the concept of maybe, maybe we should stop doing that. And so, back to back, he may want to do a special than short. I tried out with short because, well, A, there's like so many at this point of them, and the time that were short, not much you can really say other than they're short. Um, but, um, I haven't even watched them. <laughs> um, but, um, but then they did the, the free, um, um, special thing, the 22 minute thing that kind of adds like episode. Um, they did Vogue, and now we have Vic, a 40 minute, 50 minute, I hear confusing part from how long, well, I guess it felt in the 40 minute range, um, it's making a 40 minute special, which is a big fair way of doing a flavor story about next time we can forking our movie. Go, so, in this case, we have Forgotten Friendship, written by Nick Confidone, go, go, baking the premise of this one, that basically, after a bunch of get up, um, Skunk can wake up and find out that all our friends have forgotten about their friendship. They remember Skunk but only Agri Big Meanie. And I'll remember him an altered, so that nice Skunk Cat again in there. Go so for their perspective, Skunk Cat now me, Perkin, and our friendship has been forgotten. Like, we take a look at them. And then she has to figure out, you know, how it happened and quickly who did it. You know, who erased their, their memory, you know. No, um, uh, in general, it was pretty good. Um, it definitely had some like some kind of you know stuff, and definitely some like moments. And uh, some they're okay with that. There were some funny jokes in the um, like Blanchard hang too. It's like like we talk about the song, and after that character, I uh, trying to get your attention for like half a song. Like, uh, but all the bent has to be later on when that character has a beautiful number. Um. <laughs> And it gets interrupted, um, but then later on, it's shown that they were recording during that, and they're trying to figure something out, and they're watching the recording, the recording feature of the song, and they have to fast forward through it, and taking a long, or like, long song, huh? I just love that, because it's like, it's the big world thing, where they have played for big number in this universe, and the pony one, obviously, um, is that, that just really can be king of that world, and the characters are kind of aware of that. And so, I, you know, I love that. Some being cool and it's like all in their head and weird just seeing it. And, but here we're going to know that guy's hand. A lot of shows do that. We're going to play around with it. Good to know that they, uh, we, they integrate and uh, it's really funny to me. Uh, the two songs were kind of good. The first song was kind of generic but critical. And the other one was basically a villain song called Kirk. I liked it. Um, it got cut off though, so um, it's still a pretty decent song though. Um, but um, it but um, so yeah, definitely some good jokes there too. Um, what a, what a interesting thing of that we get to see um, Pony Twilight and Fletcher and Luna for uh, a brief brief of uh, cool lightly nice scene. Um, which is just cool. Cause we you know the dad found pretty cool. In fact, um, Pony comes down and get to see again. Yeah, she go to Fletcher for a brief moment. Which, uh, I keep forgetting if she was really a whore, because they even go and forgot about that. Go oh, cool that they dressed that. Um, go out for anything. Um, yeah, but, uh, one negative I will say is that we do hammer it in that the whole point is to hammer in that Clunk Cat one comedy person. Break a bit of that Rainbow Rock, but I feel like they were written up to where I can forgive that. But this one, I can also forgive it, but it's like. You know, we get a Clunk Cat, um, you know, a villain, and now she's not, so no need to reference that a lot. And they do that a few times, but it becomes an interesting part of the story. You know, like on. And there's come, definitely some nice moments showing how Clunk Cat deals with being forgotten. And, um, and the, the reveal of who's doing this for villain is one of things where I should have predicted it prior to make it incredibly obvious from the beginning. Like, I believe from the start, I figured, okay, I freaking did that, gonna be important later, but by the time reveal will go far into it, that kind of, like, I was, like, thinking of who was doing it, going to reveal, I'm like, oh, but 
ihan kai extremely predictable go I'm not that in a negative and predictable but Kapan could event they may forget about her which is technically of the point <laughs> when you find out her back for me and that don't handle well like slightly typical kind of stuff at the point to have the go to villain getting redeemed and whatever you know as she can in mere magic we are a really forgiving group you know but um Here's nice enough to wear. I think about me too much. It's the only thing like who cares? At the point I just get that to it. They only pop me when they do it in the bigger things, like in the movie or in the kind of finale. We're gonna just the we're like who cares? We're never gonna see them again anyway. Well, in the pony world at least. So in general, it's just a really nice, yeah, special. I like, got again, we're gonna the great thing ever. But I can keep going really liking it. Maybe because it's a kind of like moment, especially the ending. And some good kind of good stuff, which is pretty interesting. And again, if they fought the movie out of it, maybe we would have had big thinking kind of development that we can move forward with kind of good. Because I think good and it's going to be special. And I feel like we're going to do that from now on. Probably not going to get another full country girl movie. I don't know. We're going to country girl guy. Even the main pony screen again, again, we can story. They could feel like they continue country girl if they wanted to. No, depending. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, but um, I, I'd like to keep maybe see more. Um, but uh, we'll see that. So, well, we're all because it's a big, pretty calm. I guess it's about. I wouldn't. I had heard that. I wasn't sure how it would be. You know, I should be good, but how good? Pretty good. Definitely a pretty calm good. Not very good or anything. Uh, but nothing too wrong. I kind of left out one thing I mentioned, but I hammer in stuff sometimes. And they're going to cook a little bit into him. But, um, you know, I'm going to go again. And Tricky can do the role, too. Um, get the bomb, can't get, go. Very good. Even Tricky, I go wrong. Yeah, well, before the villain threat. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that was definitely nice. Cool, yeah. Uh, pretty cool special. I don't. I Yeah, I, I'm getting, thinking about golf. I kind of want to start trying to make the VR kind of shorter. I mean, we're trying to make sure that the longer one goes only if I go down the curve in. And I'm kind of wondering what we... But when I finish the special one, I'll have a bunch of games that I'll find my going in. But, um, and I guess that's all I have okay. It's a fun premise. I think it's pretty well, frankly funny. And a lot of, again, definitely nice. Even though it had the trophy kind of cookie with the trophy at the point with his own whatever. But it's a well enough where I don't mind it. And I uh, don't don't get feel quite you know ludicrous kind of what they've done. Von I think are familiar. <laughs> and I've seen, but it's like don't be all like they make fun of it. And that mere magic, I imagine they're doing it just for fun at the point. So which make it weird when they do about that and um you know yeah. But again, if I have I am a vogue, I think and they can then get fine. You know. Um, uh, oh yeah, that Forgotten Friendship, um, I don't know if I will forget that one, because <laughs> it's an interesting, um, one. So, yeah, I think I call it the cave for the for special, I feel like. It's pretty, pretty cool stuff overall, you know, definitely. Yeah, go, yeah, if you watch a lot of critical stuff up to this point, I think I probably do, like, a little more legendary freak, probably. I don't know, I think it had what the reaction issue that one had. But if I can actually just get the cameo in this one, not big cameo, I don't know if he even has that in the video special. So I guess even the writer don't care about him anymore. <laughs> oh, well, poor Flash, right? Yeah, I'd think back about it. Go, so, yeah, next vlog will be, uh, I don't think he ain't probably. I mean, again, we'll come to a first impression vlog for show guy. I'm, you know, not finding as many shows that I like to talk about, and I, I feel like we've all, I, I don't know, I'm like interested in VLP day, so I figure I might as well do it for two shows that more I have to, or really want to, working, and we got a fresh impression feeling for every show where I go, and I think I've already been showing with you, anyway, from the fact I could have done, but, so, yeah, probably gonna be luck of all, but, you know, if I feel like doing one, I will. Go, uh, but the next guarantee we hog is, um, you know, LP King and 8. Go, I shall see you all then for that. Goodbye.